again with uh, Bishop Baltimore and uh, thank you God for the privilege of coming to you once again for another message of hope on this beautiful, cool, uh, uh, very cool Sunday morning here in Virginia. Uh, we're moving towards, as we move towards the time of year and it gets very cold. And uh, we are delighted to be able to come once again to share out of God's word. Let us pray. And tell God we thank you once again as we come to focus on the riches of your eternal word. Mm -hmm. And we pray that you will put a hedge around us and about us as we proclaim your word today and, and bind up the enemy that will come to create confusion and distract. Mm -hmm. And we pray that your word will have free course as yes. to go for save the lost and reclaim yeah. the backslider. We pray that your name will be edified and glorified. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless. Uh, today, um, we're still in the, uh, this is the ending of what we call uh, Thanksgiving week. And so I'm going to focus again on a, a sermon to lift up this whole idea of being thankful. Yes. And so today, I want to uh, focus on on the subject, say thank you. Mm -hmm. Say thank you. When I was growing up in the country, uh, in, uh, in Mama, that's what we say, Mama. Mm -hmm. So you can say Mother, perhaps, would do something and we didn't open the mouth, she would say, Boy, say thank you. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's what we're going to focus our thought upon today. Say thank you. Right. And the text that's very familiar to me. <coughs> Uh, that resonates in my spirit is Luke chapter 17. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 17. So pray with me. I'm a little hoarse today. But Luke chapter 17. Again at verse 11. Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten lepers, ten yeah. lepers, ten men who were lepers who stood afar off. Mm -hmm. In verse 13, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Yeah. In verse 14, and so when he saw them, he said to them, go show yourselves to the priests. Mm -hmm. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. And then verse 15, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, mm -hmm. returned with a loud voice, glorified God. Yes. And he fell down on his face uh, at his feet, giving him thanks. Mm -hmm. And he was a Samaritan. Yes. Uh, and one translation says a foreigner. In verse 17, so Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten mm -hmm. cleansed, but where are the nine? Yeah. Where were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? Well, mm -hmm. In verse 19, it is said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. That's what the, uh, the New King James says, well. Another translation says, your faith has made you whole. Yes. Say thank you. Mm -hmm. Say thank you. Mm -hmm. The word thanks is certainly a, a what we call a hundred dollar word. Well. But in fact, I would say it's more like a million dollar word. Yes. It's a small word, but it has a powerful meaning. <clears throat> It might only have six letters, T-H-A-N-K-S. Yes. But it gets across a message that a few other words are capable of achieving. Yes. It's a word that conveys a powerful message about relationship mm -hmm. uh, of two per people or an appreciation of what one has done for the other. Yeah. It's a word that is said with special meaning in response to something unexpected and undeserved that one person has done 
fall or given to the other. Amen. And when that little word is missing, we feel it deeply. Yes. Amen. When someone fails to express gratitude yes. for something you have done, maybe you've gone out your way to do a favor. Yes. Maybe you've gone out your way, amen, to help someone. When that person doesn't say thank you. We feel hurt, we feel used, we feel ignored, uh -huh. and taken for granted. Yes. And we wonder why we bothered to help them in the first place. Uh -huh. Only because they did not say thank you. Yes. Each day of our life, we are recipients of God's blessings. Yes. God's blessings. For the Bible says in Psalm 68, verse 19, blessed be the Lord. Who daily loads us with benefits. Yes. God loads us with benefits. Mm -hmm. It loads us. See that loads us with benefits. However, we have the tendency to receive and receive, take and take, yes. and offer nothing in thanks in return. Yes. But the Bible also says in Psalm 29, verse 2, give unto the Lord. The glory do his name. Yes. Thankfulness is something that's due to the Lord. Yes. Do you agree with that? Amen. So how ungrateful we are for all God has done and does for us. Yes. Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15, all things are for your sake. Well. That grace having spread through the many may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Yes. Each of us has experienced an unlimited measure of God's grace well. that ought to result in, in thanksgiving that, that brings glory to God. Yes. How tragic, how tragic, yes. Yea, sinful indeed that we fail to offer thanks for God's abundant grace in our life. If you ever doubted the importance of saying thank you mm -hmm. to someone when a thank you is due, consider the story that is before us in this text. Yes. Amen. Just say thank you. Yes. Three things. First, thankfulness deserved. Thankfulness deserved. Verse 11 says, Now it happened as it went to Jerusalem mm -hmm. that it passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Yes. Verse 12, look at verse 12. Then he entered a certain village. Wow. There met him ten men who were lepers mm -hmm. who stood afar off. Yes. The scripture before us is familiar to all of us. Mm -hmm. The ten lepers were living corpse. Yes. Dead men walking. Yes. Whether you're talking about physically Spiritually or socially, they were they were dead men yes. in all actuality. Yes. They were shunned and aborted by everybody. Uh -huh. Their sickness was a sign that they were guilty of a greater sin. Yes. That's why everybody else, that's what everybody else saw. But but Jesus saw them something different. He saw uh, something else in them. He saw their pain. Yeah. Not only physically, but he also saw the pain of being separated. Yeah. Amen. From their family, separated from their friends, and separated from their neighbors. Yeah. He saw the pain of being shunned by everyone. Well. He saw loneliness. He, he also saw them as living cops. Yeah. But Jesus saw them as living people. Well, Amen. How do people see you? Do they see you as living corpse? Uh, but do, but you ought to be glad that Jesus see you as a living human being. Yes. Jesus saw that need and he saw that they need to be healed. Yes. In the account about the ten lepers who were healed by the power of the Lord Jesus, that's some interesting things to notice. First, they were a pitiful group yes, yes. when the Lord saw them. Yes. Amen. Because leprosy was a terrible 
terrible disease. Yes. Yes. Are you going to pray with me? Yes. What a terrible picture they must have been. Their bodies covered with souls. That they had a cloth over their lips, upper lip. They was a far off. They are in a terrible, miserable condition. Right. The common misery has brought them together. Well. Not a common celebration, not a common, amen, something to testify about, but the common misery well. brought them together. They, these ten lepers are holding together, looking for something that can cure them. Yes. Verse 12 again, there met him ten men who were lepers, yes. who stood afar off. Notice where he, the text described these, these who were lepers, ten men ten. who were lepers, yes. stood afar off. Notice the men's affliction. Leprosy defined them yes. rather than their names. Wow. Lord, I can stop there. I said leprosy mm. defined them rather than their names. Mm -hmm. They were not simply lepers and their identity, they were now simply lepers mm -hmm. and their identity got swallowed up by their Isha. Yeah. Yeah. Help me somehow. Yeah. Let me rewind that for you yeah. so you can catch it. They, they were now simply lepers mm -hmm. and their identity got swallowed up by their sickness. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all going to help me here? Yeah. How many of us, amen, that we lose our identity and, and we get, identity gets swallowed up by our, our condition yes. or our sickness or our poverty. Help me here. The key point here is too many people let their issue yes. swallow up their identity. In other words, you, you're not a junkie. Mm -hmm. You're not a disgrace. Yes. You're, you're not a disappointment. You're not a failure. Yes. Amen. When your issue defines you, it will yeah. become, it will now become your identity. Yes. Don't let your condition define you. Don't right. let your sickness define you. Yes. Don't let other folk define you. Yes. Are y'all with me here? Yes. The text said that met him ten men well. who were lepers yes. who stood afar off. Well. Their leprosy defined it them. Yes. Are y'all with me? Uh -huh. Once an, an identity status, then we just begin to manage it. Yeah. Don't, don't miss this now. Yeah. God did not create you to manage your life away, yeah. but to be overcomers oh, yes. and to do something about it. Yeah. Too many folk, amen, just manage that illness, yeah. manage that poverty, mm -hmm. manage that can't do. Yeah. And all of that, manage their, their shame, manage their low self-esteem. Are y'all with me here? Yeah. You're greater than your issue. You have an identity in Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I wish somebody gets yeah. that. Yeah. I said you have an identity yeah. in Jesus. Yeah. In those days, leprosy was an incurable disease. Well. There was no known cure. Of course, you and I know that the Lord Jesus Christ is what? The great physician. Yeah. Uh -huh. You and I know there is no case well. that's impossible for the Lord. Yeah. There's nothing incurable when it comes into the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at verse 13, and they lift up their voice yeah. and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Right, Notice they didn't ask for the Lord to move the lepers. They ask for mercy. Yes. Help me somebody. Yes. The Bible says they began to cry out for mercy. Yes. They heard what he had done for others. And uh -huh. that was only, and that was their only hope. Yes. Mercy. mercy. God seems to hear when you call mercy. Yes. And diagnosis it. Amen. What your condition really is. Yes. So these ten lepers called out to the Lord Jesus together, not individually, but together. Jesus said to them in verse 14, go and show yourself to the priest. Help me somebody. Leave where you are and go up to the temple. He would tell them to act as if they were healed. And they were healed. You got to act 
like to heal, act like to deliver. Yes. And in faith, they started out and they were healed on the way to their destination. Oh, come on. I wish, uh, yeah. I wish y'all could feel this, but yeah. in order for the miracle to happen, these men had to stop walking. Yeah. Come on here. You can't, you can't yeah. expect a miracle and sit still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. In the same man that you can't, yeah. can't sit still. You, you cannot wait until the problem's over yeah. to start walking in faith. Yeah. You cannot put conditions on the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Lord, as to minister, Lord, as soon as there's enough money, uh -huh. I'll follow you what you tell me to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You cannot pray, Lord, if you just just solve this little problem, yeah. then that I'll start going to church. Yeah. You cannot put conditions on the Holy God. Yeah. Instead, God places demands uh -huh. of faith on us before anything at all has changed. God might say love me yes. in spite of the disease. Yes. Yes. Obey me despite the lack of talent. Yes. Amen. And the lack of money. Follow me now yes. despite your so-called depression. Yes. Say no to the temptation while it still is a problem. Yes. Praise me in the darkness of the night yes. in the worst of the circumstances. I wish I had somebody here. Yeah. As they departed, they were, they were healed. Yeah. And as they were going, his goodness overtakes them. Yeah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. His yeah. mercy starts surrounding yeah. them. His power overwhelms them. Yeah. And they are miraculously and wonderfully healed and cured. Am I right about it? Yeah. All ten of the levels. Yeah. Not, not one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, but all ten of them. Oh, Second thing, thankfulness on display. Look at verse 15. One. And one of them, one. did yeah. you see that? One. When he saw uh -huh. that he was healed. Yes. Something jumped out of me here. You got to, you got to see your healing. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You missed that. You, got, you have to see your deliverance. Yeah. You have to see your breakthrough. Say, yeah. man, mm. yeah. yeah. he, yeah. he saw his deliverance yeah. before it happened. Y'all yeah. miss that. He, he, you got to see what's happening. Say, yeah. man, yeah. I've been visualizing something that, that I've been praying about. Amen. Say, man, uh -huh. yeah. I'll talk to you later about it. But, but when he saw it, uh -huh. he was healed. Yeah. He saw it. Say, man. Yeah. Yeah. He was healed. Uh -huh. Can you see something going on yeah. in your life? Yeah. And when he saw it, he returned yeah. uh -huh. with a loud voice. Uh -huh. Glorify God. You've got to yeah. open your voice. Yeah. And glorify God. And then he fell down on his face. Yeah. Amen. At his feet, yeah. giving him thanks. Yeah. And he was a Samaritan. Yeah. And I'm silent. And I'm king. Yeah. And nobody. Say, man. man, this was one level. We have an example of being thankful. Yeah. He said, thank you. Yeah. This was one level who realized how deserving the Lord was. He here, thank you. Yes. The Bible says in verse 15 that one, one. of the lepers yes. turns and comes back to Jesus. Uh -huh. And he says, and he thanks the Lord Jesus for what he's done. One. Responding by praising God and giving thanks. Uh -huh. Only one leper oh came back and fell down on his face and worship. Yeah. Yeah. I wish y'all help me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh there were ten, but only one oh turned to say, thank you. Oh as, a, as a dark side uh -huh. to this miracle. Yeah. Yeah. All the ten lepers cured. Out of the ten lepers, there's only one. There's always one. Yes. Are you the one? Yes. Help me some. What about the rest of you here? Yes. There's always one. Are you the one? Yes. One who returned and said thank you. Just one. Yes. Came back and praised God. Yes. Why? 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 Why one? Yes. I got the answer for you. Uh -huh. 
Leprosy is a symbol of the flesh yeah. of sin. Yeah. Mm, in the soul, yeah. say amen. amen. Leprosy is a mind of, of what a terrible thing sin is. Yeah. When it comes into the heart and a life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The miracle here is reminding us of the power of Jesus to save us from their sins. Yeah. The dark side of the miracle is that there are so few people who ever take the time to thank Jesus. Yeah. Express their thankfulness. Yeah. And following him out of the path of sin. Yeah. A lot of people have been saved by the Lord. The Lord had brought them out of the garbage heap of yeah. sin. Lives have been changed, put back together, yet they go on their way. Yeah. I feel like preaching this. Yeah. They really don't have ever bothered to thank the Lord. Yeah. They do not express their, their being thankful. So, so Jesus in the context, I, I think I ask the saddest question ever. Uh -huh. Verse 17, where yeah. Oh, yeah. the nine? Yeah. Where are the rest of you? Yeah. One came back. Where are the rest of them? Yes. Say amen. Where? He said in verse 17, where? What are not ten? But where are the nine? Yes. Amen. He didn't just want one. He wanted all of them. Yes. Say amen. He always want, amen, all of them. Yes. And I know because when, when that one sheep was lost, yes. out of the nine nine, he left the nine and nine. Yes. And went after the one that was lost. Say he wants 100 in their participation. Right. Right. Not just two or three right. in here. Right. He wants all in oh. there to put your hand to the plan. Yeah. Found thing I see is thankfulness deprived. Are you deprived of all? Yeah. I'm saying thank you, sir. Yeah. Amen. There were 10 lepers that were healed, not, but only one returned to give thanks. Yeah. The other nine went on their very way. Yeah. Without a word. Yeah. Still have a witness. Yeah. Now this question is also a surprising question. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever wondered whatever happened to those nine yeah. who were healed by Jesus? Uh -huh. yeah. Never came back to thank him. Yeah. Be thankful in the work of the Lord. Yeah. Thank him for his goodness. Yeah. It's possible to get out of the way through uh, uh, thankfulness without ever stopping to be thankful. Yeah. Say amen. Yeah. One leper uh, uh, came back. One caught himself yeah. in the midst of the celebration yeah. and returned to Jesus. Yeah. He reversed his steps, uh -huh. put his family on hold, uh -huh. put the priest on hold. Uh -huh. Came back to the cause of the celebration. For that is the cause of your celebration. Yeah. It is not just your healing. Yeah. Your deliverance. Yeah. But it is about Jesus. Yeah. Jesus said where are the nine? Yeah. Jesus tell the leper who came back in verse 19. Your faith yeah. has made you well. Yeah. That was ten were healed but only made well. In other words, you can be healed, but not made whole. I'm a lot of witness here. So many are healed of your condition, but you're not a whole person. I'm a lot of witness here. The point here is that unless you have a thankful spirit, it's only part of our nature. And I got a witness here. Yeah. <laughs> You can't be whole until you go back to the temple yeah. and show God your praise. Yeah. The other nine were merely healed yeah. and not whole. Yeah. If ingratitude is more deadly than leprosy, yeah. they were in a worse shape than before. Yeah. But only one came back. Right. Yeah, and made whole. But where are the nine? We need to talk to you <laughs> who were healed and never came back. Right. Then let me ask you another question. Uh, is there anybody here yeah. that Jesus done anything for? Yeah. Not the person sitting next to you. Yeah. Has he done anything for you? Yeah. 
And let me ask you another question. Yeah. Have you ever stopped to thank the Lord? Have you ever said, Lord, I thank you for saving me. I thank you for getting me out of the dump heap of sin. I thank you for giving me a life that has been in it. Have you ever really thanked him? Say yes. Here's a third question. Now, will you follow Jesus all the way? But where are the nine? The nine were, where are the they? Often those who've been blessed have gone their way and forget about the Lord. Say yeah. But I'm glad that God always got a witness. Goodbye, church. I'm going to close now. But I thank God for the one. Yeah. Praise his name. Yeah. I'm in the one number. Yeah. I'm so thankful yeah. that Jesus saved me yeah. from my leprosy. Yeah. He changed my life. Yeah. I wouldn't dare think of not going back. Yeah. But thank him for something. He, yeah. he changed my life. Yeah. He made me a, a brand new person. Gave me a wonderful thing of life. Yeah. And I'm in the church now. Yeah. And I'm serving him. Yeah. Not out of duty. Yeah. But I'm serving uh, because I love the Lord. Yeah. Say yeah. yeah. We're out of nine. Yeah. But as I close, yeah, be thankful yeah. for the worthness yeah. of God. Uh-huh. Be thankful for what he's done for you. Yeah. Yeah. Be thankful uh, for the shellness of God. Yeah. Shellness looked into the future. Yeah. Be thankful yeah. uh, for the isness of God. Yeah. What God is doing right now, yeah. He will uh, yeah. take care of you. He will bring us through. Yeah. He will bring us out. Yeah. Be thankful yeah. for what He shall do. If God woke you up this morning, uh, started you on your way. Uh, if God made your enemy, uh, leave you alone. Uh, if God put food on your table, uh, if God put clothes on your back, uh, yeah. Uh, if God put a roof over your head, uh, if God brought you out, uh, if God uh, brought you all the way, uh, yeah. Uh, and made a way out of nowhere. Uh, you ought to thank him. Uh, and I thank him today uh, for being a God uh, of another chance. Uh, I thank him today uh, because it keeps on uh, looking beyond my fault uh, and seeing my needs. Uh, I can't help but say thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, say yeah. Uh, why? Uh, the living hand of God uh, has turned many nights in the day the hand of God and the place tears of depression in the tears of joy the living hands of God and make glad glad made us glad over and over but be thankful for your ups and be thankful for your downs be thankful if you level uh, to the ground, uh, is there anybody, uh, anybody, anybody uh, that say thank you? Say thank you. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you! Thank you! Come on, say thank you. Come on, say thank you. Come on, say thank you. Come on and say thank you. Come on and say thank you. Come on and say thank you. Go be thankful. Where are the nine? Thank you. But one of them, when he saw, he was healed. Thank you. He returned. Yeah. Went back. Yeah. Gave God the glory. Yeah. Yeah. What you gonna do once you discover you've been delivered? Yeah, Lord. Are you gonna go back? Give God the glory. Thank you. 
I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Yeah. Go back and give God the glory. Thank you. You've been listening today. Don't take the life God given you for granted. Yeah. Go back and give him the glory. Yeah. If you don't complete it, you've just been healed but not made whole. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And you'll sink back into the same situation. Yes. Yeah. But the object is to be made whole. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. He was made whole. He was made well. He was made whole because he, he went back yeah. and gave God, gave Jesus and God the glory, the praise. Yeah. Showed himself to the priest. Yeah, the priest declared that he was clean. Yeah. 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 There's a difference in being cleansed yeah. and made whole. Thank yeah. God that God is in the business of making us whole yeah. through the blood of Jesus. Yeah. If you listen today, this message touch your heart. Amen. If you you were struggling, you were trying to reach yeah. Jesus. Jesus reaching out in your direction right now. Yeah. When you saw your condition, yeah. Yeah. then you realize He had healed you and delivered you. Yeah. Reach out and say, Lord, here I am. Yeah, Lord Jesus. Invite Him into your heart right now, and He'll save you, keep you from the enemy right now. He's a He's a faithful God. Yeah, Lord. Whatever your situation is. Whatever your situation is. God yeah, bless you. God bless you. Write us. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear from you. Write us. Write us. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We're still praying for you, God. We pray that you're in see on behalf of the families and pastors, the believers all over the globe who are struggling, Lord, in this pandemic. Situation seems to get worse, but it's nothing for your mighty hand, hand to keep us in the hollow of your hand. Nothing shall pluck us out in Jesus' name. God bless you. Meet us again on Tuesday evening at 730. That's what we should study out of God's word to become stronger in these last and evil days.